allowing the breath to move and the awareness to move freely, discovering how the body feels, how the body physically feels in this moment. And if it needs anything to feel a little better right away, maybe there's a button to unbutton or a, an elbow to shift a little to the side or maybe a blanket or a pillow would make a world of a difference. And so there is an invitation to go that extra bit, that extra little something to make it better, to make it sweeter. The self caring for the self, the self turning inward and providing all that is providable for this moment on the physical level with objects and props on the physical level with the position of each foot, each hand, the jaw, the tongue. And with the breath, is there a way to, to hold the body, the abdomen, the, the chest in a way that the breath feels more free, more welcome? more accessible. And if on this breath, if on the breath you could receive anything you wish for, what would it be? What would the breath bring? Strength, love, courage, peace, abundance, joy, comfort. Allow the inhale to nourish, allow the inhale to bring all that you need on that energetic level. And have each exhale make the space. Each exhale opens a little something within for that next delivery to have a place to go. So the body and the breath are finding their softness, their calm, comfort. Let the eyes be closed and the ears therefore are open and seeking and searching. Letting the ears pick up all the sounds of your space, this room, this whole experience near and far, listening to all of the sounds and listening for the sounds that are close by, listening to the sounds from the body of the body, listening to maybe digestive sounds or listening for the heartbeat, those body sounds. And listening for the breath, listening for that whisper of the breath. And as you listen for the whisper of the breath, let the mind drop down with the breath into the body, into the heart space. And keep moving the awareness down through the trunk of the body into the hips, into the pelvis, and down into the legs, all the way to become aware of the feet, to notice each heel, the right heel and the left heel, noticing the right foot and the left foot. with the right big toe and the left big toe and all of the toes on the right, two, three, four, and five, and the toes on the left, two, three, four, and five. The mind is moving and the body might be still. This is a movement of the mind, of the rotation of awareness as the mind touches and greets and welcomes 
each body part beginning today with the feet greeting the right foot and the left foot for the path they walk. Welcoming the right and left ankles and the lower legs, the shins and the calves, right and left. Greet each knee, the two thighs, front and back, the outer thighs, the inner thighs, right through to the pelvic floor and the hips and the buttocks, right and left, the whole pelvis. Be aware of the pelvis as a structure, as a bowl. Be aware of the content within the pelvis. Organs and muscles, connective tissue. Move the awareness through the abdomen and the low back, through the chest and upper back, of the right side and left side awareness of the right shoulder blade and the left shoulder blade. And at the front of the chest of the sake of the breastbone, sternum in the middle of the chest, the protective aspects of the body there over the heart. Feel the chest, the rib cage. Through the, the right shoulder and the left shoulder, let the awareness move down the arms with an awareness of the upper arms, right and left, greeting and welcoming each elbow, the two forearms, right wrist and left wrist, the right hand and the left hand, greeting the right hand thumb and the left hand thumb, index fingers, right and left and the middle fingers, Greeting and welcoming the ring fingers of the right hand and the left hand and the little fingers right and left to the center of the palms. Be aware at the center of each palm, the right and the left, connected. Connected up the arms, up the wrists and elbows, to the armpits, to the collarbones. The right and left collarbone and the hollow between, be aware. Be aware of the front of the neck the back of the neck, the right and left side. Move the awareness into the head with a welcome to the back of the head, the right side, the left side, the right ear and the left ear, the right temple and the left temple, cheekbones on the right and the left and the cheeks. Be aware of the jaw, right and left and the jawline to meet the awareness at the center of the chin, lower lip and upper lip, the right nostril, the left nostril, and the tip of the nose. Awareness of the bridge of the nose, the right eye, the left eye, the right eyebrow, left eyebrow, and eyebrow center. Awareness of the forehead, hairline and the top of the head. So together the head and face, the neck and shoulders, be aware and welcome the right arm, the left arm, the chest and the upper back, the lower back and the abdomen, the pelvis, right leg and left, together. Together both legs, the trunk and both arms, the neck and head, together the whole body the whole body, the whole body. Be aware of the whole body resting, breathing, the whole body asleep and awake at the same time in this practice of yoga nidra, this practice of conscious awareness. Be aware of this body and this breath, the breath arriving, nourishing, and the exhale that departs, cleansing, making space, making way. Inhale and exhale, moving freely. The body is breathing itself. The breath breathes the body. And the mind can watch, the mind can witness, can be there to observe, following the inhale and the exhale. 
And with the exhale, with the exhale, look for where the body feels heavy. Where is the body the heaviest today? Moving the awareness around and exploring and finding the heaviness. Where is the heaviness at this moment here? And with the inhale, explore lightness. Where is the lightness, the weightlessness? Where is the body the least heavy? And be aware of this heaviness and this lightness in the body at the same time. Holding an awareness of the both and of this body. In parts heavy, like the earth and in parts light, like the breath, in the air, and maybe lighter than that. And you may stay with this pair of opposites. There might be something to explore and discover with the heaviness and the lightness. And you may choose to assign different qualities, different concepts to the heaviness and the lightness. And you may choose to take on something challenging like illness and health, and perhaps privilege and disenfranchisement. Or maybe you stay with heavy and light, with cool and warm, with comfortable and uncomfortable. So choosing a heaviness, a heaviness that may be not a physical heaviness at all, or maybe is. And finding that in the body, creating an experience to feel that, to manifest that experience in the body, to feel what that feels like, that heaviness, the weight. Choosing to generate heaviness and weight for the purpose of understanding, for the purpose of welcoming, and deepening the connection between heart and mind and body and breath, and spirit all together. Where is the heaviness in this life, in this experience, and what does it feel like? And be curious and seek out also the lightness, the weightlessness, choosing the opposite, holding the contradiction of weight, finding it in the body. Wherever it might show up, be curious, explore. What does it feel like to generate the opposite? What does it feel like to create a contradiction? And to hold the paradox of both and. And be aware of both heavy and light. Weight and weightlessness at the same time. And hold that space, curiosity, awareness. What does that feel like? To expand, to open and hold both and at the same time. And as the breath moves through the body, Find, find the expression of this paradox or these paradoxes 
or aspects of the paradoxes in the whole body? What does it feel like in the feet and legs? It's the experience in the hands and arms. In the lower trunk and abdomen and low back, upper trunk, chest, shoulders. In the neck and head. And what is the point of view of the body? Taking a moment to find the body's orientation to this paradox. How does the body orientate to this paradox? How does the body handle weight and weightlessness at the same time? Like the inhale and the exhale that arrive and depart. Opposites. Every breath organized in opposites. It's one way. Perhaps the body has other ways of holding this paradox. And when it feels time, when you feel ready, ask the heart, ask the awareness, ask the intuition, the gut, wherever you feel drawn to ask the wisdom of this body, what else you might need to know about weight and weightlessness, about heavy and lightness, about the questions that you held what are things you need to know to feel integrated, to integrate and to feel good? Asking the body, what do I need to know? What do I need to know from this experience to feel how I wish to feel? And like tuning in to a radio station, dial up that frequency, dial up the feeling that you wish for. Where is the feeling that feels the most comforting and soothing, most integrated, cohesive, coherent? Inviting that, calling that. So that every inhale is a nourishment for all that's ahead of you. And every exhale is the letting go of all that's past. Be aware of this whole body and listen again. Listen for the sounds of the, the breath and the Heartbeat, maybe digestive sounds, maybe odd little body sounds. And listen to everything. Listen to the room. Listen all around. Listen beyond the room, if that's possible. Listen far out. With the eyes closed, remember where you are. With the eyes closed, see yourself in this practice. See yourself comfortable and sheltered, cared for, nourished by the breath, held by the earth. And as you listen for the sound of the breath, also feel the breath, feel the sensation of air moving in the nostrils, feel that touch of the breath in the nose, the touch of the breath in the, in the throat, Maybe you feel the movement of the chest as it inflates and deflates, the rise and fall of the abdomen, that spontaneous and ongoing massage of the body in its process of life. 
Be aware of the body and feel the body. Feel the body breathing and feel the whole body, the legs and arms, the trunk and the neck and the head. Feel where the body is supported. Feel the parts of the body that are touching something, that are supported and held. Feel the parts of the body that are covered, that have clothing or covers or cloth on them. And feel the skin that is open. Feel any parts of the body that are exposed to the air. And let the mind collect anything it needs to collect from this experience, any insights, any feelings. And maybe there's nothing to remember. Maybe this was an experience that the body integrated and maybe something will show up in a dream later this night or this week. Trusting that this practice has done good for the body that may continue to offer its healing. And for the moment, the practice is wrapping up. So if there is a, a gem or an insight to repeat mentally, this would be the moment to connect with what gifts you're returning from this journey with. Feeling the body, feeling the breath, listening to the sounds, remembering the room in which you are, and when it feels time, deepen the breath. When it feels time, let the breath be a little more full. And let the tongue move a little bit. Let the fingers wiggle and the toes wiggle. And as the toes and the feet begin to move, the fingers and the hands begin to move, let the head turn a little bit and let this body awaken at its pace. Maybe it, it wants to stretch. Maybe it wants to fold up and hug itself. Maybe it just wants to lay there content and soft. The practice of Yoga Nidra is complete. The practice is delivered and I thank you for listening. Take your time to awaken, take your time to return. This is a liminal space and there's no rush and there's no hurry.